currently there are three major areas uh, that we are involved with. These are all real world problems and they're supported by uh, different defense agencies or private um, institutions. Uh, these three major thrust areas involve uh, development of um, algorithms or systems for, in the first area, for sonar signal processing. Uh, the second area involves satellite image processing. And lastly, the third area deals with uh, text and image retrieval systems. In the first area, the goal is to develop algorithms uh, for detection and classification of underwater objects. Uh, we use sonar signals that um, are biologically inspired. They are designed um, after the sonar systems of bats and dolphins. They have extremely good uh, resolution in terms of uh, being able to detect and classify the objects. Uh, this particular project is sponsored by the Office of Naval Research and currently the important areas of activities involve detection and classification of buried mines and limpid mines. Um, so that's the first area. In the second area, we're working very closely with the Atmospheric Science Department and the folks at CIRA. Cooperative Institute for Research in Atmosphere. Uh, the project is part of the Department of Defense, Geosciences, and Remote Sensing um, Center. And we have actually three parts in, in this project. Uh, the first part deals with prediction and estimation of cloud phase information from geostationary satellite, namely Meteosat. The goal is to determine not only the types of clouds, but uh, different type of layers and icing and uh, water content. The second area deals with uh, detection, classification, and um, estimation of parameters of aerosols over the desert. Examples of aerosols could be uh, smoke, dust, um, and chemical aerosols. And we are doing this with the aid of uh, satellite imaging. And uh, the third area under the same uh, project has to do with acoustic sensing. Uh, this is becoming very, very popular for surveillance and situation awareness situ uh, problems. And uh, it could be used for uh, tracking uh, things such as tanks and trucks. Uh, the idea is to distribute a large number of these unattended acoustic sensors or microphones and uh, uh, collect data from um, vehicles or they could be deployed in uh, urban areas to, to track personnel and uh, this could have a lot of applications, for instance, for terrorist um, uh, identification and localization. And then, finally, the third uh, major thrust area deals with development of flexible um, search engines, both for text and images, where the search results are uh, typically evaluated by expert users only. Applications could be in security systems or medical areas. And the idea is that once the user, the expert user, provides a query to the search engine and he or she identifies the most relevant document, um, the expertise of the user in terms of providing the feedback to the system will be saved so that in the future, the search will be more refined and the result of the search will be more accurate. As I indicated before, the application areas could be huge, uh, could uh, have uh, numerous applications in multimedia, um, homeland security, and uh, medical uh, imaging, archive of data, and so forth. 
So all of these projects that we deal with are real work projects and the students are going to be working in teams together and very closely with myself and other graduate and undergraduate students. And uh, in my opinion, the EC department at Colorado State University provides an excellent environment for research and intellectual development uh, because even though we have a very small department, we are very active in research. The classes are typically very small and uh, the students get to work with other peer students very closely and with the professors very closely. So the relationship is a very close relationship and that's extremely important for research and intellectual development.